Okay, we're going to talk some more about number sense and factors, and today we're going to be discussing the highest common factor. We've done a lot of talking about index numbers and about factors and prime numbers, uh, moving us towards this idea of finding some numbers that are highest common factors. Um, and highest common factors uh, for two numbers are going to be the largest factors of both numbers. So we might need to list all of the factors. So if I want to know what is the highest factor that is common to both 54 and 72, I might need to list out all of the factors of 54. Okay? I might need to then list out all of the factors of 72, and then I'm going to look for which of those are the largest. Okay? In this case, that would be 18. Um, but is there an easier way? You know, do we want to actually list every single factor um, of those numbers? Especially when the numbers get larger, that can be tricky you know, to list every single one. And if I make a little mistake, then I might actually miss the highest common factor. So we are going to be looking to attempt to find the largest number that is a factor of some other numbers. Um, so here's a shortcut. So the first thing I want to do is to take uh, first and find the product of primes for each number. And we need to find the product of primes for each number. And then we're going to find the common prime factors. Instead of finding the highest one, we're going to find all the product of primes, look for how many prime building blocks it has in common, and then we're going to multiply their product. Um, and that will be equal to the highest common factor. So let's see what that would look like. If I take 60 and factor tree that, and we might get 3 times 20, and 20 might break down to 2 times 10, which would break down further to 2 times 5. And I would have found my prime factors there, and I rearrange them into a product of primes, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay? Product of primes, that's part of step 1. But I also need to do that for 72. So if I do that again for 72, I do them both factor trees, maybe 8 times 9 and uh, 4 times 2 and 3 times 3 and break down my 4 a little bit more and then I identify my prime factors okay? and then I need to rearrange them into the proper order and I find that 72 has the prime numbers of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And if I bring back uh, my factors of 60, okay, and we write them together, uh, this is going to help us. Now, one of the tricks when we write these is I don't want to just write them. I want to put all the 2s together, and then all the 3s, and then all the 5s. So watch what I do to 60. We're actually going to push that out a little bit, and I'm actually going to space it out so that I get all of the 2s, and then all the 3s, and then all the 5s. And that is the end of step number one. I get all the product of primes, and I write them one over the other. Step number two, if you wrote that down, and if you didn't, I'd go back and watch that, um, was to find out which ones they have in common. If you look, we see that they both have a number two in common, but they actually have a second two and one three. The, the 72 has three twos, the 60 has two, so they actually have two twos in common and one three. So we would look at those. Two times two is four, times three is 12. 12 is the highest common factor. Again, that is looking at uh, which ones are in common, okay? and there may be more than one, and then we multiply those. Step three, 12 is the highest common factor of 60 and 72.